Welcome to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. And today's starter, Trevor Rogers. And for some reason, he's not quite as effective here in front of his home crowd, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and the fans are well aware of that. For him, he's got to just not press and go out there and say, hey, I'm just treating this like any start. Home, on the road, it doesn't matter. My job is to focus on that catcher's mitt, attack hitters, and just try to move through a ball game. So if he can find that kind of focus, it doesn't matter where he's pitching because he has good enough stuff to go out there and win a ball game. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. One down, base is empty. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's out number two. And now it's Christian Yelich. Too much swing and miss in his at-bats recently, striking out nearly twice in oh, each of the oh. last five games. Two outs, base is empty. Out to short, Adamas. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Brewers go down quietly. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Bottom of the first, and at the play for Miami, number 54. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Liner, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Here's a hitter who's been strong in the clutch lately. Over the last 10 games, he's knocked in 10 runs. That one pulled foul. And he deals. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. Bangs off the wall. Around third. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Luis Arise stands in. A big game for him last night. He had four hits in that one. Line drive, and that's a base hit to right. Lopez on his horse, coming home. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. And his hitting streak continues. There have been almost no bad days for him in the past month. This guy's running hot, Boog, and people around the league are paying serious attention to this streak now, especially the pitchers that are trying to slow him down. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jake Berger. There's a buzz in the stadium every time he comes to the plate as he tries to extend his hitting streak. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Gigantic blast. His 46th of the year. It's 4 nothing. So add another game to his hitting streak. Chris, this is remarkable. 
Just so exciting. Game after game, he's given us a real thrill, and that swing was obviously no exception. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. I'm rushing out down, trying to dream, but it's a waste of time. In the end, you thought that you could win. So all the two Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. That's hard hit in the line. Perkins calls it in, and there's one away. And time now for the Marlins lineup. This is a ball club that can really slug. Lots of homers, lots of extra base hits. And Chris, that, of course, a huge part of success in the standings for this group. Well, if you're going to be successful in today's game, you've got to be able to hit the ball over the fence. Just defensively, very hard to find the holes. And when you're talking about pitchers, you're coming out of the bullpen, throwing 95 and above, very difficult. It's hard to string together two, three, four hits to score those runs. So definitely critical to hit those homers, get the extra base knocks, and that's exactly what they've been doing. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to Hoskins, and they get Adamas for the out. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. The right field. And every at bat's a big one for him now as he looks to keep this amazing hitting streak going. Hit hard, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. And with every hit that extends his streak, he climbs higher on the all-time list. Rarely has anyone gone this far. Yeah, Boo, 30 is about as far as most guys can take it, and he's just blown by that mark, and now it actually looks like 40 might be in play. I'll tell you this, as a hitter, it's so hard to not let that weigh on you. Every game, you're going out there trying to get it out of the way as soon as possible so that you can focus on the game. Makes it a little tough to relax at the plate. Two outs. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. You know, power is such a big part of the success that we see with the good teams in the league right now and even in the postseason. Smoke to right center, and this one's gonna go out of here. A massive home run. Home run number 30 on the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boone. We knew it wasn't coming back. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of his own. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. D.L. Hall won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound.